Councillor Fletcher next to speak. Thank you, uh, Speaker. Um, I'm very pleased that the Chair has uh, put this motion in today, and I am going to be supporting that. I'll also say, you know, if her motion fails, that our Council could have a study to reinstate horses and buggies on Bloor Street. Um, like or that. failing that, we could have an assessment for the off-road bike lane that would run parallel to Bloor that some councillors have expressed a preference for, and that would have to include the number of properties that would have to be acquired and the cost. So I think both of those are not a direction we want to go in. I hope we will support this very strongly today. I just want to remind everybody here what we've built and what we did actually in the last term of council. And I always say to De Deputy Mayor Min and Wong, we fight on so many things, but every time I ride the Sherburn bike lane, the Simcoe bike lane, the Richmond bike lane, all of these bike lanes, I say, yeah, thank you, Denzel, I have to thank you. Because they are very safe ways to travel. They are great. We need to expand that infrastructure. So if we could bring the bike plan forward, from 2010 to 14. We need to expedite that in 2014 forward. So thank you. I'll be thinking of you when I get back on my bike, and I'm strong enough to, to travel, uh, Deputy Mayor. The, I have worked on the installation of bike lanes in my ward, and the big first one was the Dundas bike lane with then Councillor Layton, uh, father of this Councillor Layton. And it was difficult because people were very concerned. They were going to lose parking. That was going to be bad. Nobody would go on it. It's an important commuter lane. It's a safe journey. It's a safe journey for people through the East End. We are living in a multimodal era. Many people who work downtown, they cycle to work. They cycle to the financial district. They cycle throughout the downtown core. It's very different. For those who may be living in other parts of the city where people are cycling through parks and ravines, but really and truly that's how more and more people are going to work. Major employers have change rooms, they have showers, they have bike parking that they've installed because of the people that work there are riding to, to work, they're cycling to work. That's a cohort that we have to think about, that's part of the economic development plan in the City of Toronto. This is actually the new reality for traveling in the downtown core. And Metrolinx is giving us a lot of money to install bike share throughout the subway line. Cycling is the new multimodal way of traveling. And I think we need to get our bike plan moving and realize that if we hold this back, we're actually not doing ourselves a service because people who work downtown, they want to cycle down there. When you see the thousands of people coming across the Danforth, they're not going for coffee, they're going to work. So our planning department in every single large condo that we build insists on bike parking. You have to build bike parking there. They're always looking to add bike corridors in any large planning project or any large uh, transportation or transit project, which they have done. So that's also on our agenda, and we've approved many of those things. Bike lanes that we're talking about are commuter lanes, they're traffic, bike traffic lanes, and they're lanes to take people to work or to shopping. Recently, with the bike, uh, Ward 30 bikes and Ward 29 bikes, we've met with all of the BIAs along the Danforth, to say, and the bike uh, users, the groups have said, we want to have more parking. People are coming, they can't park anywhere when they're coming on their bicycles. And each one of the bike BIAs has embraced that and said, fantastic, let's get together and work to bring more shoppers to our stores on their bicycles. And recently we had the Bikes Mean Business event at Dora Keel, where there are the statistics that many people will come to shop, more people will come to shop than are already shopping if we provide alternative ways to get there. And as a cyclist, I can attest to that. If I can get on the bike and go to some place quickly, find a place to park and buy something, 
That is my preferred alternative. So I think we should pass this uh, today and get on with letting people cycle to work in all parts of the city. Thank you. So are you